Okay, next up we have the staff scheduler. And uh, this sheet gives us the ability to schedule multiple staffs uh, on multiple different days with multiple different schedulers. And let me go ahead and walk you through that. The multi-staff scheduler has the ability to schedule up to four different staff on any given day. So if you do have four staff that you want to schedule, you can go ahead and activate all four staff and you'll see immediately that made a change over to the main screen where you can now see up to four different staff the ability. And uh, also as well on the week view, you can see, uh, you can enter, uh, let's go ahead and click this week and you can see right away that uh, now change it, you have the ability to the week view shows four different staff on every given day. So we can also schedule specific staff on specific days. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. We'll go ahead and put uh, uh, one uh, Lisa on and then uh, we'll do a staff three and a staff four. So uh, if you like that and you have the same schedule, you can go just go ahead and copy it over to each individual day. Or you can also uh, make a specific change uh, Perhaps uh, we have a change here on Thursdays is off and uh, so you can easily make a change and maybe this person has a schedule. And once we do that, we can go ahead and uh, click the update and that's going to update the entire, oh, I made a misspelling there, I'll go ahead and fix that. We can, uh, it's going to ask us if we want to update the entire schedule for the entire year or just from the current date moving forward. This way if you have a history and you want to keep that history, you don't need to change prior dates uh, staff scheduling. For our purposes, we'll go ahead and uh, update it for the entire year. And uh, that's done that. If you want to change di uh, different years, you could just go ahead and select the year from the drop down list. And what that does is that that updates the entire staff uh, on all the schedules for the entire year. So when we go ahead back to the week view, we now see that we have uh, specific staff and if they're off, uh, as we had scheduled, it's going to show off for those specific days. All right, and back to the staff schedule. The, the next part of it allows us, which is called the individual staff scheduling. And here what we can do is we can really fine tune the time working and time off on a per staff ability. So if we go ahead and select a staff here, uh, it'll go ahead and load up. And then what we can do is uh, we can schedule whether they're scheduled and we can go ahead and select specific times. We can select a specific start time and this is anywhere from the company start time on up. Uh, so if this staff starts at 8.30 and they finish their day uh, at uh, 4.10, we can go ahead and schedule that. And once we've done that, we can scroll down and we can see that uh, those are correct. And maybe they have a specific lunch break uh, that we want to go ahead and schedule. So just simply uh, unclicking that or clicking on it to check or uncheck will go ahead and mark them as off. And we don't have to do that for each day. If it's the same schedule, we can use the same uh, copy and copy that over to the next day and copy that over and copy that over. And so that way we can adjust uh, the schedule for each staff on each day and we do the same thing for the next staff. What this does is it gives us the ability to really fine tune um, exactly specific times that are off for specific staff on a weekly basis. As uh, when you have a company, different staff can work different schedules. Once we do make those changes on both the main and the thing, those times off are reflected. As you can see now uh, under Fred for that Wednesday, they have, uh, they're starting at 8.30 and they have the break between 10.10 and 10.30. And as well on the week view too. So changes made are reflected automatically. So it's really handy when you want to uh, fine tune your staff schedule. And uh, that's it for the staff scheduling. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know on this one. Thank you.